Oh, hello, and welcome to another episode of LP and Laundry. If this is your first time joining me, it's pretty much what the name might make you think it is. I play one side of an unusual record. Uh, we talk about it a little bit before, we talk about it a little bit during, and over the course of it, I'll fold some laundry. It's not really about the laundry, but I have been told that it is, you know. Got any more in your system? Okay. Yes, it's oddly compelling. This episode, we are going to be returning to a, a, a favorite round here at Casa del LP and Laundry. Uh, it is, of course, the fabulous master of the organ, Lenny D. Yes, I've been holding on to this one for a while. Uh, this one is uh, Organ Varieties. Lenny D at the organ with instrumental accompaniment. So we'll see. We've seen many different iterations of, of Lenny D. Uh, the early Lenny D, which was pretty pretty swinging hi-fi, and then later Ellie, uh, Lenny D, which was a little more a little more easy listening, a little more you know heavy lifting done by the instrumental accompaniment. So we'll see. I've only listened to just the first few beats of this to test for volume. Uh, so. Who knows what this is, uh, but how about I turn it on and we can find out. Sound good? All right. This, uh, this cover's got a lot going on, like a lot of Lenny D uh, albums. This song has the, I'll say an unfortunate name, of Ballin the Jack. Yeah. Ballin, I had an apostrophe. Ballin the Jack. Lenny uh, is wearing at least two things of interest. Uh, one, of course, is the grimace that he is making. When you get your picture taken as often as a guy like Lenny D, some of them, some of them might come across as a little false, I don't know. But the other one is this gorgeous paisley jacket. Are you kidding me? there is no persuasive essay on the back. It's been a few weeks, I think, since we've had a persuasive essay. No, this is one of those that at least it does have the track listing, but it also lists the other items on uh, Vocalion records. Vocalion is a sub-label of Decca. Vocalion. An interesting name for a label putting out an instrumental record. Oh, this is Avios. A strange choice for track two of side one? Yeah, I think so.
this was enhanced, this is a stereo record, but there is the, I, I love these, these records when, when stereo was new. So some people had, still had mono, had more monaural record players. And some mono records were coming out. However, Vocalion records. Vocalion records can be safely played on today's monaural phonograph phonographs to the maximum sound capabilities of your equipment, yet will reveal full stereo listening quality when played on stereo photograph phonographs. There were stereo photographs. The first person who invented that, da, 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 da. like if they get a royalty check. This is Chinatown, my Chinatown. Forget it, Jake.
name. It is Jada or Hada, depending. J A space B A. This is a cha cha cha. Side. Uh, this is a, a rather short album, as it turns out. Another time we will do side two in the sometime in the future, I imagine. Uh, but uh, I'd like to get through as many new ones for side one as I can before I start going back and mining side twos. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me for another episode of LP and Laundry. If you enjoyed this, Please make sure that you share, that you like, that you subscribe. Do whatever sort of expression of agreement and appreciation the platform on which you are watching this will allow you to do. Otherwise, check back in and we'll see you next time. <laughs>